Okay, this one says solve the formula for the specified variable, and our specified variable is P, which is right here in the equation. And this is just a made up equation. I just made it up so we could practice it. Um, but all the steps that we take to solve regular equations apply to this net nightmare as well. Um, if there's parentheses, you should distribute to get rid of them. We don't have any parentheses. Step two, if you have fractions, multiply through by the common denominator to get rid of them. There's only one denominator in this problem. Let me use a different color. And that's the four here. So I am going to multiply both sides of the equation by a four. Now on the left side, four times, four times a is just 4a. On the right side, you're going to have to distribute the 4 to the 1 fourth np and also distribute the 4 to the 5. Now on the 4 times the 1 over 4 np, your 4s just cancel out and you're just left with 1 np. But 1 times an np is just an np. Plus, and then don't forget, you've got to take this 4 again times the 5, and that's going to be a 20. Now keep in mind, we are supposed to be solving for the P right here. So focusing on that P, I got rid of my fractions. I want to get that P by itself. So I have to get rid of the 20, and I have to get rid of the N, and it is much easier to wait to get rid of the N because it's multiplied onto the P. And the opposite of multiplying is dividing. And so we want to do that last. So the next thing I'm going to do is knock out this 20. And I'm going to subtract 20 on both sides. Now here is the kicker. It cancels out here. But you can't subtract 20 from the 4A. So you're going to leave it as 4A minus 20. I know when I'm showing that subtraction, I'm doing it vertically, but you now have to write it horizontally. Um, so it makes, it looks more mathematically pleasing to the eye. Okay, and then I'm kind of running out of room. So let me come up here. I'm going to take my 4a minus 20 equals the np. Keep in mind, you're solving for the p. So we have to get rid of the n. So divide off the n, because n over n is just a 1p. And I've got p by itself. But what you do to one side, you got to do to the other. And I can't really simplify this thing. I can't subtract 4a minus 20. They're not like terms. And n doesn't divide into 4a, and it doesn't divide into 20. So it should be OK to type it in like this, although this isn't my math lab. Sorry, this is my hands in my review sheet. Um, you can leave it like this. If you wanted to, you could distribute the division and say 4a over an n minus 20 over an n, which would equal a p. But again, I can't complete either one of those divisions. So um, if that n were actually a 2 or something, then yeah, 4a over 2 is 2a. And 20 over 2 would be 10, and I could do the division, but it's an unknown. So either one of those answers, fine by me.